let's design a basic beam to column configuration. For this configuration, enter the column first. Let's use a wide flange column. Here's the list of sections. Recently used options can be found at the top of the list, or the section can always be typed instead. Hit Enter, and the column will be added to the design. Let's change this to the column web. Continuing to the beam, notice that this left panel just updated to the beam information. Let's use a beam size that was recently used. The shear is automatically added using design defaults. You can modify those defaults in general settings. Selecting a connection element in the drawing will highlight that same element in all of the drawing views. Let's change the shear to a single plate and add a moment. The drawing views can be zoomed in, out, and panned. Right click a connection element for shortcut tools. Select the shear form from that menu or double click the plate. This form has a tab for each element of the connection giving access to the design details. Descon allows most of a design to be customized by the engineer. These checkboxes are a way to lock values or dimensions. Whenever an edit is made, that checkbox will be selected. Click Apply to see the updated design without closing the form, or OK to also close the form. Whenever an edit is applied, the calculations and drawing are updated. This allows any conflicts to be seen right away, and also updates the number of no goods and the overall capacity gauge. Let's see how this looks in the 3D model. Clearly, this number of bolts doesn't fit on the beam. To undo the edit, simply open the form and deselect the checkbox. As much as possible, Descon gives the engineer control of the exact design. The drawings reflect the design rather than being simply generic sketches, and Descon continuously checks the calculations. The goal is speed and accuracy.